founder framework of the day. I got a really great framework for you all today, okay? P-U-P-T, four letters. What does it mean? What does it stand for? So next time you have a business idea and you're wondering uh, if this is the right one for me to pursue, or if you have, if you feel like, oh, there's a gap in the market, maybe I should go solve it. Use this framework to assess, you know, the, the, you know, the, assess the idea to make sure that you are not wasting your time and money, okay? P-U-P-T, so in my world, a great business has these four components. Uh, without these four check boxes, it's really, really hard to pull it off. I mean, it's still possible, but like, insanely, maybe 10x, 100x harder, right? Ready? P-U-P-T. P, the first thing, is pain. Is there a pain here, right? And now you can't make assumptions on this. You have to go talk to customers to ask them, is there a pain? Um, I also use the phrase unmet need interchangeably. So pain or unmet need. Sometimes this is obvious, sometimes it's not obvious. And also this is the easiest thing to fall uh, into a trap into because you can assume a lot that there might be a pain here. It seems like painful, but no. You have to hear it from the mouth, uh, mouth of the customer so there is a pain. So P is pain. Without pain, there's no business, in my view. Second thing is you, use urgency. Is there an urgency to solve this particular pain point for the customer? Now, again, this is again, it's very, very hard to get this right. The best way to do it is talk to the customer and ask them on a scale of one to 10, how urgent solving this is for them. Right? Sometimes they may have a pain, but they can live with the pain for a year. So they may want to buy your product or service like a year from now. And that's, that's, that's not really helpful, right? You, you want to be in business where there's a recurring component. Anyway, so use urgency. It's very important to pick high urgency problems. All right, so PU. The third P is purchasing power. This is insanely, insanely important because without the P, the, the purchasing power, which means budget, which means like the disposable income, like whatever, you know, without money to throw at this pain that the customer is experiencing, they're, this is all, you know, it's not charity, right? Like you, you can solve the problem for them, but like if they can't afford to pay it, or if their net worth is not that high, if they're like still scrambling, scrappy and all that, it's gonna be hard. I made a mistake in this realm um, where I went after aspiring entrepreneurs, aspiring founders who were in the zero to one phase and they don't have a lot of disposable cash to throw at their problems. So they just suffer and they just try to find scrappy ways to get out, get around it. But, you know, they definitely are not, you know, shopping for products and services the way like somebody else might, right? So. Third thing is P, purchasing power. And the best way to assess this is to look at their purchasing history and just ask them, hey, how much have you spent on solving this particular problem in a different way, right? Have you spent like 20 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month, a thousand bucks a month, right? And it's all proportional to the net worth and how much, you know, like revenue they make in their business and things like that. But it's very, very important to get it right. So the third thing is purchasing power. The last one is T, which is trust. Now trust is key. Trust is sort of like almost the invisible magical force that closes the deal for you and for you know for, for them. So do they trust you? Do you have a good reputation with them? Have you helped them in the past? Do they like you and, and trust you? So this is very key. That's why it's important to, if you know that there's a, there's a bunch of leads out there in, on the internet or in your area, wherever, it's always important from day one to build trust. Doing things that don't scale, helping them, selflessly building trust so that when they have the PUP, right, pain, urgency, and, and, and purchasing power, they will come directly to you blindly without, you know, shopping around too much, right? So trust is key. Sometimes the, you know, trust is also a, a word that I interchangeably use with brand. Uh, brand is key because, you know, if you see Nike, Coke, Apple, they all have brand. And what brand is, Really, it's just accumulation of trust over the years, right? If you go to the you know sneaker store, there's like 30 brands out there, 30 companies, sneakers trying to sell you, but you you know that perception-wise, Nike's higher up on the totem pole, even though it's, they're all shoes. That's because Nike has trust brand. Anyway, so you need these four. Hopefully this will really help you sort of think through the way to decide if you wanna pursue a particular idea or not. You know, uh, the PUPG framework is something that I'm, you know, coming back to all the time lately. So try to 
run your ideas by this framework and see if it helps, all right? Thanks for listening, and if you love this kind of content, leave a comment. If you have a question, please drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.